Hey guys, this is Gloria. Yes, yes, yes. I am back <laughs> with the Tuesday morning haul because I cannot stay my butt out of Tuesday morning. I am kicking myself in the butt because when I first went to Tuesday morning, when the big sale was on, I put back so many dyes and different things that I thought I didn't really want or really couldn't use. And I realized, guys, how much these dyes actually cost if you try to purchase them even if you go to ebay even if you go to um, amazon these dyes are so expensive if you can find them so i keep checking back at my tuesday mornings because of course um, people are like bringing things back and they're pulling out more stuff out of the back if they have it so um i was able to look up on a few dyes that i did not get the first time around um but I'm still looking for the rose dye. I actually purchased the rose dye, I believe, or either I had the rose dye. And um, I put it back. Didn't think that I was going to need it. And I need it, y'all. I need it. I have another dye that um, makes those type of 2D, um, or I don't know what you call them, but, um, you know, those roses. But um, it's nothing like having that one that everybody else has. And I, I just want it, but... I can't find it but anyway let me share with you guys what I did find um this is one of the ones that I thought that I did not need because I do have the Sizzix um, cupcake stand die but um I'm glad that I picked this one up because um, this one is much larger than the one that I have and it's always nice to have different size um, cupcake stands and I like this type of stuff because you can actually cut this out of thicker material than you would on like say my cameo my cameo I can't cut like super thick um, uh, materials like you know really heavy chipboard this one I may be able to get away with it and you know I'll check it out but um, the price was $11.99 and the SKU number is 1721595, but I believe they gave that SKU number to a bunch of different dyes um, that were also $11.99. So it may not be very helpful to have the SKU number in this case, but this is how big it is. And look how big the platform that you put the cupcake on is. It's huge. So this is much bigger than the one that I have already. So I'm glad that I got that. And then share with you guys the other one this is the mailbox and I picked this up put it down picked it up put it down um, and so I just went on and got it this one is 1721596 and it's $14.99 and again I think that SKU number is given to a bunch of different dyes but that is the mailbox right there and if you saw or if you're um, a subby of Marissa's you'll see this um, this little mailbox in action on her channel and I like it um, I don't have little kids um, my youngest in the house is like um, 15 I believe so I don't have like little kids but I noticed that my kids love they still love this little stuff when I make it for them so I figure I'll pick it up and I also have nieces and nephews that are still young so um, this I think will come in handy so I picked that up because I love dyes and I can't stop buying dyes from Tuesday morning um, I also picked up these tags and I know that you can make them yourself but why make them when they're $1.99 for 12 of them and they're already um, stamped with like this newspaper or dictionary print and they have the string in them as well as the reinforcer these are by DIY shop and they were $1.99 the SKU number is 1679069 um, these are two things um, that I got from eBay um, this is a gift card um, die and it has this word enjoy in there and it also has the slots that you can put this in there because um, I'm a gift card giver guys when it comes to um, gifts I rather do gift cards than do actual gifts so um, I thought this would come in handy so I got that off of eBay um, and I also have another um, gift card die coming as well and then I made some gift card holders today on my cameo so I'll share with you guys those in a little bit um, but um, I also picked up this and um, this is an older die um, Ellison designs I guess it's a thick cuts die which means it's a steel rule die and it makes that Santa Claus face so I just picked it up because I thought it was pretty neat and it was a great price. Um, I also got that off of eBay. So back to my Tuesday morning stuff, um, if my stuff doesn't fall. Um, I also picked up this paper, this Halloween paper, and I'm not huge on Halloween at all, but I thought this was some really cool paper. Um, it is American Crafts called 30, I guess it's 31, 31, yeah, and this is pumpkin patch paper. 
Um, and it's really cool because of this gingham orange part on the back here. And I just thought this was really nice. And again, like um, we don't really do Halloween, but um, I know that my kids would probably enjoy having some little treat boxes or something with this in there. And that pumpkin is really cute. So I picked that up and that was um, $2.99. And here is the SKU 172.1643. And then I picked up this um, by American Crafts. And I like this because I was thinking, although it has the pink in it, you can still use this for boy stuff. And I was thinking about like little boxes and bags and stuff for Christmas. And this is the other side of it here, which is really cute. Let me just move some of this stuff before it falls. Um, and so the SKU number on this one is 1721643. And this is what is this this is crepe paper and it's craft market and um, I believe you get 25 sheets in here so I got that um, I got this but then once I got it home I'm kind of like on the fence about it I like it because it says Goldie and um, those who are very 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 close to me know that my mom calls me Goldie but um, I picked it up because it's not only pink and black on the one side, but it's also hearts, and I love hearts. But when I got it home, I realized that the hearts are shifted to one side. If you can see, this side doesn't have a row or even a half of row of hearts, which is kind of weird, but that's probably why it's so cheap and why it's a Tuesday morning. But um, yeah, it's by American Crafts. It is um, seven paper and studio calico, but it's called Goldie. And this is SKU number 1721643. Let's see. Is that the same SKU number? Uh, I hate that. Yeah, that's the same SKU number, guys. So sorry about that. Um, then, of course, I picked up more of this pink paper um, because I love it. And it's really sturdy and it's basil paper. And I can't pass up basil paper. Um, it was $3.99, and then the SKU number is 1727283. I love basil paper, guys. I make a lot of 3D stuff, so it comes in handy. Um, the next paper stack that I picked up was this one. I thought this was super duper cute, and it has the same SKU number as, as the others. And this is American Crafts Fine and Dandy, and it has this really cute stripe on the out opposite side. And um, it's called uh, Stripey Straws. That's what that's called. And then this is more basil paper, and the SKU number is 1727281, and this color is Peanut Cluster. I just thought it was really cool because I can make like, um, I can use my dies to cut like uh, bags and stuff out of this because it looks like the brown paper bags. And plus, uh, Christmas is coming up soon, you know, sooner than we think, and um, I just think that that would be nice for all kind of like stuff 3d stuff and it feels really heavy um that other pink basil paper is called um baby pink light and it goes really well with like tilde paper it goes really well with um all that american crafts type paper and all that stuff um this one is american crafts fine and dandy and i thought it was really cute as well it is um like a really light blue and this red and um green and pink it's really pretty and then on the other other side is spots um it's red spots so this would be cool for um christmas and stuff like that as well i don't like uh traditional christmas colors like the green and red i love like the pinks and the light blues i mean the same things that i craft with um throughout the year so um so i also picked this up oh and this skew number is the same as the other packs so um, I also picked up these brads because um, I thought this would be cute on like little pinwheels and stuff. But I did notice that the brad piece is kind of short. So I don't know how that's going to work out. But um, the SKU number is 1716923 and it is $1.49. And they're by American Craft. They're medium brads. And then I picked these up um, because um, you guys know I have that um, bag die that I got from Tuesday morning. And I thought these would be really cool to kind of pinch the top of the bag because it doesn't have a closure on the top to keep it closed. But um, this is 1660693 and it was 149 by 7 Gypsies. And more paper because I am addicted to paper. This is so super duper cute. American Crafts um, Happy Traveler Getaway. And it has all these scooters and bikes and stuff on it. And I love double-sided paper because it really comes in handy when you're cutting um, on your cameo and stuff like that. And you, that way you don't have to layer stuff. But 
that's a skew same as the skew number before i hate when they do that i don't like when they do that because then when you call the store you can't find out if you know when you call that product locator you can't find out if they actually have it this is american crafts winter winter wonderland toasty warm and it has all these little coffee cups on it that say all these different things and i thought that was pretty cute and then i don't really like the back side but that's okay i like the, the front so got that and last but not least I also picked this up and this is called journey and it looks like a cork board and it has like these little triangles on it. I thought this was a really nice um, neutral paper to use in scrapbooking or any type of projects and this is by crepe paper and it's called journey and the other side looks like this like cloud paper so that is about it that is all that I got um, but if you hang on a minute I will share with you guys my um, gift card holder so give me one minute guys hey guys this is Gloria so I am back to share with you guys um, my little gift card holders that I created today um, this is not on here permanently but I wanted to share with you guys how that would look if you just put a little snowflake on there instead of having a rose on there so um, but um, yeah so these are the gift card holders that I created and I think they came out super duper cute I wanted to make enough of them so that I'll have them for birthdays or whatever and what I'll do is um, I'll use my Dymo maker to just um, do like a little sentiment over here and just stick it on there for whatever purpose I need it for if it's for birthday or if it's for um, graduation or if it's for holidays whatever so that's what um, that's what I'm gonna do with those and then I just slipped like some old gift cards in them just so that you guys can see what they look like so um, I'll start with this one um, this like I said the snowflake is not permanently attached to that um, but I just wanted to share with you guys what that would look like and so um, yeah this is the first pocket and the gift card holder is actually just white and I like these because I could actually um, um, cut out a bunch of these and actually just um, attach those to my um, card and put a gift card in any card that I want so that was a pretty cool cut um, I'll try to link the cuts that I use down below because um, with the Silhouette online store, sometimes you don't really know what you're getting until you purchase it, which I don't like. Like, you don't know what the cuts actually look like until you purchase it. But um, I'll link it down below so that you guys can see what it looks like. And I actually made this uh, rectangle myself. Um, and I can share with you guys how I did that if you want to know about that. Um, it's a really cool technique, but I just wanted something to layer on there. And this, this is one of my crepe paper flowers from um, my stash. And I just have a little gold um, circle in the inside of that. And then you just slip the gift card right down up in there. And then you, you, know, you give it to the person. This is how it looks on the back. I thought it came out super cute. So that is that. And like I said, if you wanted to, you could actually add, um, there's some removable tape on the back of here, but you can put a snowflake on there and then it becomes an instant um, gift card for the winter time. And I don't, I, I said it before, but I don't really use like the, the, the traditional colors for Christmas. So I thought that was really cute. Um, this one, I made a um, crepe paper bow out of two different crepe papers super duper simple to make and I will share with you guys how to make that if you don't already know how um, this is a little different from the first one um, where the first one had the um, it, the tag and then the gift card part slides in the inside this one actually has the gift card part that slides out like that so um, that was pretty cool as well and I just put some ribbon up top um, for the gift card and this is how it looks on the back it's just all white and then I put this pretty paper on the front so I thought that one came out really cute as well and then this one is a little different um, there is some gold um, like thread type stuff up top and another one of those crepe paper flowers that I made and I really like this one too this one is really cute it's different and um, that's how it looks and it has two little slots where you can stick your um, gift card in the inside of there and I use double sided paper so I didn't have to worry about you know one side not being covered so I like the way that one came out as well and then this one um, is like the first one that I showed you it's just a different color and I think this one came out super pretty I, I just used white paper as the base of this one and then I used the pattern paper for the, the gift card insert as well as the little square that I made on the front and I put this red gingham um, uh, 
what do you call this ribbon at the top and I believe I got that from Lisey if, if you're watching Lisey hey girly miss you um, but yeah Lisey 46 here on YouTube gave me that a while ago so that is that one and then last but not least is this one here where I just scrunched up a, a, a what do you call this mint green doily and that's just a little scallop circle and a little bowl that I made and um, that's what that one looks like and that's some tilde paper it's double sided so you don't have to do much with that as well and I think they all came out super duper cute so um, I am also thinking about doing um, a series maybe I don't know I'm not good with keeping up with stuff like that but I'm gonna try to do a series that's called like um, maybe 3d Thursday or something like that when um, I make a 3d project using my um, silhouette machine or either um, using my die cuts and that way you guys can see what uh, Cameo actually has to offer as well as you can see um, the different projects that I create because I'm gonna try to create a bunch of different projects before Christmas that way I have a stockpile of things that I need um, things that I, I would need um, for gifts and stuff like that because it's nothing like waiting to the last minute and I am such a last minute person when it comes to this type of stuff so anyway that is about it guys if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can take care guys bye